I have a couple items over $300 because it's a wish list. <laughs> Welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Mary and today I have for you my Christmas wish list video so I do a wish list every single year um, can't help myself fun fact I'm the youngest of six and so if you know any people who are the youngest in their family or anything like that you know we kind of have I'm not gonna call myself spoiled but I am definitely used to being like the center of attention so as the center of attention I have to make sure everybody knows what I want <laughs> nah but for real I do like to make a wish list just because uh, me and my siblings we usually do a um, secret Santa just because there's so many of us and so buying five gifts every year is not necessarily like what we want to do and so uh, we do secret Santa so that everybody can get one person and get them one like really nice gift and if you want you can get other people like smaller gifts and stuff we use the app elfster actually if you haven't heard of it um, it's an app that lets you do a secret Santa exchange and so you can just add everybody to the app by their emails and everyone gets a notification and then in the app or on the website you can add stuff to your wish list so I'm actually going to be, this is like my true wish list. I didn't make this for this video. This is truly what's on my Elfster app. Um, and so yeah, so you can do like most wanted, you can link the items, you can put notes in the app and I just really like it. So I've been setting up our Christmas exchange every year since like, I wanna say like 2015. Okay, so I have 11 items on my wish list and of course, Last time I said I was gonna pop stuff on the screen and put it on the opposite side. So I'm going to pop all the items up on the screen somewhere, very much somewhere, so that y'all can see what they are. On Elster, you can set a, a limit, like a price limit for like how much the items can be. This year, it's $300, which is, you know, not too crazy. I have a couple items over $300 because it's a wish list. So I'm starting off with my most wanted items. So I have three items for most wanted. And the first thing is of course shoes. It seems to be a running theme. They are the Yeezy Foam Runners in Vermilion, which is the red color. When I saw that these were coming out over the summertime, I was like, I absolutely need to have them. If you are a true like Kanye fan, then you know about the Red Octobers. The foam runners will work <laughs> so I have a pair of foam runners already I wear them all the time those are low-key like my version of slides um, and so I thought the red ones would be really cute to actually like wear in a planned outfit kind of thing so yeah so that is the first thing on my wish list so next up is from the latest collection from Hanifa that just dropped a couple of weeks ago runway show was amazing like everything about it was super super duper bomb and so there was one dress but I don't remember seeing this dress in any of the clips but it is the raven leather dress this dress I don't even I can't I can't really explain how I feel about it I think this dress is so bomb and so beautiful and I think it would look so good on me like one of my favorite features about myself is my legs and this dress has that really nice like cut out on it and so I think that that would look so so good low-key I want to wear it for my birthday in May so that's why it's in my most wanted purple is not even a color I gravitate towards to be completely honest but the like structure and design of this dress is just so so cute and so it's over $300, but I put it on my list because I think I need to have it. Um, it's actually not sold out in my size, so if I don't get it for Christmas, I might have to get it. I just think it's such a pretty dress. The last of my most wanted items is um, by a brand called NDG Paris. I think I first saw them, I don't even know. I wanna say I first saw it on Tierra Walker but it might have been somebody else. Um, and so they have a very Birkin inspired Paisley print bag and it comes in three different sizes if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so the one that I put on my wish list is the 
green paisley jane 25 i just think it's really really cute this bag comes in a lot of different colors and there's a khaki and a white that i really really liked but the khaki color wise i have something similar so i was like okay maybe not that and then the white i don't know like i like it and I'll probably get it as like a second bag, so. But the green, I don't have, I do actually have a green paisley bag, but I don't have a green paisley bag in this style. So I put this on my list as well because I thought it would be really, really cute. It does come in red and blue, which I really, really like, but I think just to be like culturally aware, I wouldn't get a red or blue paisley bag bag personally so green it is and that is the last of my most wanted items for this Christmas wish list so next up I have eight other things they're pretty simple um, so I'll just go they're not necessarily in any kind of order um, kind of but not really so the first thing on here is a Brooklyn and Rose so Brooklinen has been sponsoring all the girlies and so I keep seeing it most recently I saw it on Aaliyah's face of course and she was showing a towel set but it was like a waffle towel set which i actually really like waffle like the whole like waffle knit kind of stuff but it comes in a robe and i really really wanted a new like shower robe i have a terry cloth robe that i use when i get out the shower and i just got a like really plush robe that i want to wear like around the house not after the shower so I need a new shower robe because that Terry one I actually got it for Christmas but that thing is is just ragged at this point it's definitely time for an upgrade um, so I just threw this on here because I thought it would be a really nice like that's a nice Christmas gift so next up on my list is a Zara discovery perfume set so if you're like living and breathing you know that Zara perfumes are that girl right now so they've really blown up this year I definitely knew that Zara had nice smelling perfumes but never paid any attention to them until their collaboration with Jo Malone which I think actually came out last year they have a new set of fragrances and I'm just pulling it up right now they had it at the Zara when I was in Vegas they have it I haven't personally seen it at any Zara's um, here in Dallas. Some of the names of them, in case y'all are wondering, are Energetically New York, um, Magnificently Dubai. So I think they're named after different um, cities. So you can get like a discovery set of eight um, on the Zara site. And I thought that that would be, that's like a stocking stuffer or something. You can find Zara fragrances, but to actually, when they, to actually see testers in the store is very hit or miss. And so I wanna smell all of them. Um, so I really think that the discovery set is a good way to do that. Um, so yeah. Next up on my list, which was actually in my 2022 wish list as well, are a pair of Loewe sunglasses. I'm not gonna talk about them too much because I talked about them in that video, but really love those sunglasses. If I don't get them for Christmas, which I'm probably not, um, I'm gonna get them for myself. So next up on my list is a speaker. So I've been living in my apartment for a year and a half and I don't have a speaker. I have a very loud TV, it's a Sony TV. I have um, Apple TV so I can play music off of it, but I can't hear that music in my shower. So on my list, I have a UE Mega Boom. And I have the UE Mega Boom 3. I had, I used to have a UE Boom in college, but I lent it to somebody and they broke it. Like it came back broken, unfortunately. And I never replaced it after that. It's super duper loud. Um, it's really cute. So I just, I feel like I need a speaker so I can listen to, like truly listen to music in the shower because that is essential. So. Next up on my list is something that is actually out of stock. So in the notes on Elfster, I literally told whoever gets me, I was like, you can also give me a gift card for if the item does come back in stock. It is a bag from Brandon Blackwood. It is the standard Sophia bag, um, brown croc emboss with gold hardware. So I actually wanted the original, which has silver hardware. And I first saw this on, um, Natasha S's channel she had um, shown it and like a get ready with me and I was like I really like that bag and I don't have any brown bags and so I have been eyeing that one for a while and then in this last collection that he did maybe like 
like a couple weeks ago, maybe like two months ago at this point, um, there was one with uh, gold hardware in that collection. I missed the drop. Like I completely forgot about it or something or I got my times mixed up or something and I was so, so, so hurt because I was like, I need that bag. Right after I realized I missed it, I emailed them and I was like, is this coming back in stock? Because some of the bags are limited edition. They said that they couldn't tell me. So I check it every couple of days just to see if somebody returned one or something. Um, but nothing so far. But yeah, if that comes back in stock, I would like that bag for real, for real. Just not even just for my wish list. I actually need it. Like it fills a gap in my closet. So need that. Next up on my list is a, another fragrance actually um, and it is by Byredo. I did have a Byredo fragrance in my 2022 wish list but it wasn't this one. This one is still pricey but more reasonably priced. The scent is Mojave Ghost. I love that scent. If you can get into a department store to go smell it, I think they have Byredo at Neiman Marcus. I know they don't have it at all the department stores, um, but if I'm pretty sure they have it at Neiman Marcus for sure. So if you can get in there to go smell it, it just smells so, so good. I will read y'all the notes. So the top note is Ambrette. The heart is Magnolia, Sandalwood, and Violet. Already got me with the Magnolia and Sandalwood. I love that. I buy candles with both of those scents all the time. And then the base is cedarwood chantilly musk and crisp amber it just smells so it's a very fresh scent to me but also kind of like just a little woodsy and so i really really like it um and i'd love to get it for christmas so i think fragrances i never realized why fragrances were a good gift i always thought they were like I'm like that's cheap like that's no these fragrances are expensive so i would love to get that for christmas too Next up is another fragrance actually, and that is Scarlet Poppy by Jo Malone. So I first smelled this in Sephora, and the only reason I smelled it is because it had such a pretty red bottle. <laughs> like the, I thought the bottle was so pretty, so I was like, okay, let me smell that. So bottles are very important, honestly. So I smelled it, and it did not smell like any of the other fragrances in the store. So when I smelled that one, I was like, ooh. So let me read y'all the scent notes for that. This is a cologne intense. The difference between a cologne and a perfume is the wear time, if I'm not mistaken. So perfumes have longer wears. So look at that. The top note of this one is ambrette. So clearly I like that. I've never really like heard of this before, but I clearly like that scent. And then the heart note is Scarlet Poppy, um, which is a floral. And then the base note is Tonka Bean. So yeah, this is a perfect fragrance. I definitely recommend smelling it. They have it at Sephora and anywhere that they sell Jo Malone. So like Macy's, um, I think they sell Jo Malone at all the department stores actually. So definitely go smell this. Um, if you like Tonka Bean, then you will probably like this fragrance. It smells so, so good. The last item on my list is actually a ring from David Yurman. This ring is called the Renaissance Ring with Pearls, um, 14K Yellow Gold and Diamonds. And so this is $150 over the limit. But I got a little connect. And so, you know, it still will be over <laughs> the limit that we set, but I, I was like, let me just, you know, shoot a shoot. <laughs> I really like this ring and I want it in a mixed metal color. I've really been into mixing metals lately. As y'all can tell, I got on my, I like wear these all the time. And so I've really been into mixing metals um, and I just think that this is such a pretty and classic ring. Everything on here, if I don't get, I'm about myself and I'm only getting one item. So I got a lot of purchases that I'll probably be making um, throughout 2022. But um, yeah, so that is the last item on my Christmas wish list. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching my Christmas wish list. I know that Christmas is quickly approaching, but hopefully you got some inspo for some items that you wanna try. Please like this video, comment down below something on your Christmas wish list and subscribe for more. Vlogmas continues.